West Gallery Theberton is reopening for 2020 with three solo exhibitions that will be part of the Sala Festival, the South Australian Living Arts Festival, throughout August. Jonathan Kim is a well-travelled artist who has brought a wealth of life experiences to his emerging art practice. Inner versus outer points us to the deep layers of his knowing, whilst he approaches objects with a phenomenological, or in other words, sensorial consideration. A small metal bowl has been matched with his carefully crafted motorised striking arm. This sounding of the bowl is reflective of his childhood in South Korea. Jonathan Gathers found sculptural materials rather than crafting them himself. His finds are mostly everyday or thought mundane and often are left idle in our day-to-day -day settings. These objects are given a new life in his studio. His collected rocks now hang within his careful placements. His concerns are about the relationship between objects, people, events and their particular environments. Notes from his numerous notebooks show an extended curiosity and willingness to play with forms in the environments he has constructed for them. In the end, though, he leaves the audience to explore these new objects alone, to place themselves in these new worlds, and to find some sort of re resolution about imagined connections seemingly made or lost. I am Sue Michael. The creature warms its undercarriage by the heater in a winter kitchen. This simple scene is an example of pictorial phenomenology. A radiator in the bathroom and in another kitchen are all suggestive of the efforts people in regional South Australia go to make life more comfortable. A series of 28 prints have been made using a gelatin slab and homemade stencils. Visual information about domestic culture has now been abstracted and pared down to its essential humanistic values. The prints are made quickly in much the same way as gestural drawings. Any misaligned shapes are forgiven by the artist for freshness and immediacy are required instead. There are outdoor and indoor views, glances to the wider skies, side by side with a narrowed focus on local wildflowers as they bob on their bushes. These modest and often overlooked scenes are of the life world, an archive of life as it is during winter. The further north we travel, the less greenery and rainfall accompany life. This is just as things are here in South Australia. Much like this time of coronavirus, geographer David Seaman suggests that everyday experiences, meanings, events, and situations are grounded in and in many ways determined by environmental qualities. Our third solo show shares new work by Margie made during a special time spent with her three generations of family in a small coastal town. It was a place where time was not measured and space was unbounded. We begin our survey with close attention to details of Margie's oil paintings. 
Lines have delicious seams and overlap. There are signs of the human hand rather than a machine. Translucent rings may forge ahead to meet the pink. The blocks of colour each have their own nuances. Electric strips of colour will become some sort of bank that other shapes can launch from. Layered colour mixes do not jar but invite the viewer to explore onwards. Faint textures can be found. And if we turn down the dial of colour, it would be a limited world we enter. Juxtaposing colours invigorate us. Wedges and slivers of negative space become new situations. They are earthly surfaces. Each of we three artists have a very focused art practice. Amidst the colour, bold forms, humanistic concerns and abundant curiosity, we hope you can touch the represented atmospheres that you may then carry those away in your heart. Jonathan alerts us to environmental awareness. Sue to adaptability. And Margie to our place within the sentience of place. The West Gallery Theberton can be found at 32 West Theberton Road, Theberton here in Adelaide. The exhibition opens August 13 and closes September 27. The gallery can only be accessed by stairs. Gallery hours are from 11am to 5pm, Thursday to Saturday, and from 1 to 5pm only on Sunday afternoons.